Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Ogami and today we are back with another statue tutorial. Again, continuing with the plushie collection that I've been doing recently for Five Nights at Freddy's. So, this is someone that a lot of you guys will love and a lot of you guys will hate. I know some of you have this as your favourite character, some of you absolutely despise him. But today we are doing our Balloon Boy plushie. And uh, this includes a lot of special features that I really, really like and I really put a lot of effort and thought into, so I hope you do enjoy. And again, just a quick promotion for my new second channel. If you haven't already seen it or haven't checked it out, there'll be a link in the description, youtube.com slash gbgamescreations. Again, I will be doing some random stuff on there, random games and hide and seek videos with some of my awesome friends. So if you do want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description. Again, I very much appreciate it if you do. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So on screen, you'll be seeing the screenshots in the different texture packs. But apart from that, I'll not waste any more time. I'll see you in the tutorial. Alrighty, guys. So... Welcome to the tutorial. First off, I will list off the blocks you'll need. You'll know quite a few for this. Um, and then we can get straight on into building. So, you'll need brown wool, blue wool, red wool, cyan wool, white wool, light grey wool, white stained clay, light grey stained clay, light blue wool, red stained clay, oak planks, grey wool, black wool. You also need red carpet, cyan carpet, orange carpet, sign and oak fence. So, that is a lot. That is a mouthful. If you want to pause and grab them blocks into your inventory, that will be awesome. And then we can get straight on into building. Alrighty, so, as you can probably tell by the amount of blocks you um, have to obtain, this is quite a detailed build, and it's one of my favourites that I've designed in quite a while. But anyways, what we're going to start off by doing is placing six blue wool in a row, like so. And then we're going to do the exact same again. So, you'll have a two tool by six wide area of blue wool. Next what we're going to do, and it's what we're going to do for the next four rows, is alternate between red wool and cyan wool. So we go red wool, cyan, red, cyan, red, cyan, and we build that up for the next four rows. So alternatively what you can just do is go one, two, three, upwards, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so what that gives you is two rows of six blue, and then four rows of red cyan, red cyan, red cyan. Okay, so, if you want to, again, pause, and it should be a 6x6 six six, uh, square. It's not 3D yet, so it's a square, and it should look like this. Alrighty, so, moving on, what we're going to do next is punch out the two middle blocks in this area. So that would be these 2x2 two two here as you can see and what we do for that is the bottom left corner we place one white wall then one light grey we then go up diagonal with the light grey and place one white wall so it's like a crisscross of white wall and uh, light grey wall now it is a bit big it does represent one of the buttons on his jumper and again it is really really big but it gives a nice effect and makes it look a little less plain so I like it alrighty so moving around to the side what we're gonna do is get our blue wall of course, and we're going to extend it back one, two, three. We'll do the exact same for the next row, one, two, three. And then again, we do rows of four going cyan. So four cyan, whoops, four red, and then four cyan. So essentially, you're just making sure that it's not the same color. So if this one's red, this one's cyan, red, cyan. And again, that makes a six by four area, as you can see. Coming round to the right side, we're going to do the exact same. So extend it backwards, one, two, three. Again, one, two, three, using the blue wall. And then this one is cyan, so we go up four using red, cyan. Oops, that's not cyan. Cyan and red. Alrighty, and again, that is a six by four. So, once you have built that, it will look like this. If you're looking at it from the side, it gives you a really, really nice effect. Okay, so the final part, what we're going to do for now is come around to the back side of the statue where we've got this empty gap. And of course, we'll have a 4x6 area here, which is empty. So we fill the first 4 using blue wool, the second 4 using blue wool. And then again, what we do is we go, the first row is red, so the second row is 4 cyan, 4 red, 4 cyan, 4 red. And it will look like this. So from left, it goes red, cyan, red, cyan, red, cyan. That's the general theme you're going with. Okay, so we're just going to fill this part in here, plain, because that's all it needs to be. It doesn't really matter where it is. 
just gives us a nicer surface if we fill that in. And we are left with this shape, which is six tall, six wide, and four deep. Okay, so that is the main body complete. Now what we can do is start adding some more details, such as the legs, the arms, and also then eventually moving on to the head. So we're going to start off by doing the legs. We come to the front where this button is, and at the bottom left corner we place a 2x2 of brown wool, and on top of that another 2x2. So essentially we make a 2x2x2 cube of brown wool, and we do the exact same on the right side. And once you've done that, there will be a two block gap in between it, and it extends two forwards from the main statue. And that is the feet. For the arms, what we're going to do is come to the top left of the body, where this red wall is, and we're going to extend it out two using white stained clay, and the row below we also extend it out by two as well. We then bring it forwards one, all the way around, and that again makes a two by two by two cube of white stained clay, one air, well one uh, side of it connecting to the body and the other side being one forwards and then again on the other side we bring it out to each one and one layer forwards to make another 2 by 2 by 2 cube alrighty but that is not where we stop on the normal statues it would be because the normal plushies are very very simple and have a uh, nice uh, simple feel to them but this one I've gone to a bit more detail on for the reason that balloon boy frankly has a lot more detail on him in terms of props that can be, I guess, accurately represented on the plushies. So, on the left hand, what we're going to do, this block here, we're going to build up one, two, using oak fence. And on top of that, we are going to, if I can get it out, there we go, we get the red wall, we place one there, and then from that we build a two by two cube. So, what we do is we go one to the left, and behind that we place two, like so, and then we do another layer on top of that. So the layer that connects the balloon to this string here is the first one towards the front on the right. And then as you can see, it works from that. Now, if we were doing this in odd numbers, it would look a hell of a lot better. But from a distance, you really can't tell the difference. Okay, so for the other arm, the right arm, what we're going to do is come to this part here, the furthest part on the uh, right side. And we place one, two oak fence on top of that we place one oak plank and this is where it's a bit optional if you want to you can if you don't you don't have to so you could leave it like that or if you really want to go full out or um what's the word fully detailed should i say then you can put a lovely sign there and you can do as you can see i'm doing on screen make a nice balloon sign there we go perfect Okay, so let's get rid of that sign, and once you've done that, it will look like this. From a distance, the sign doesn't look too great because the writing blurs, um, but it's just something optional that you can add if you want to. So uh, feel free to do whatever you want, but again, because it blurs a bit, I'm going to keep it plain. Okay, so once we've done that, we can move on again, and now we are moving on to the head. So the head in general is a 6x6x6 six 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 cube. Um, it's got a lot of detail on it, but I'll explain that further in. So, what we're going to start off by doing is on this left side where this red wall is here, we're going to place one white stained clay, bring it one forwards, and extend it one, two, three, four, five to the right. We're then going to bring it five towards the back, five towards the left, and link it back like so. And what that does is that gives us a six by six square of white stained clay, as you can see if I fill this in. There we go, and it overhangs the front one block and the back one block. Alrighty, so we're going to work on the front first because that's the more detailed and more important side. So on the first row, it's just simply six white stained clay as we've already placed. The second row is one red stained clay, four white and one red. The next row is one white, one light blue wool, two white stained clay, one light blue wool and one white. And the next row is one white wool, one blue wool, two white stained clay, one blue wool, one white wool. Okay, and the final two rows do what we did before. It alternates red, cyan, so red, cyan, red, cyan, red, cyan. And then the next row, of course, is red, cyan, red, cyan, and red, cyan. And once you've done that, it's a six by six square, as you can see. And uh, it's pretty simple. 
One last feature we do need to add, which I'm going to add now, is the nose. So what we do is we come to the second row up and to the third and fourth block in, which happens to be these two. We're going to place two light grey stained clay, 3D, um, not indented, not like this. Whoops, done it a bit wrong there. Not like that because that looks not quite as good. You bring it out one block and it gives you an awesome effect of the nose. Okay, so again, this is your opportunity to pause if you need to do so. Again, I must stress it is a 6x6, six six, um, and then this nose is 3D. Okay, so hopefully you guys are up to date. If not, again, take your time, no rush, and it makes your life a hell of a lot easier in the long run. So what we're going to do is come to the left side here, and we're going to start working on the side of the head. So going from left to right, the first layer is 6 white stained clay, as you can see. The second layer is one brown wool, four white stained clay. The second layer is three brown wool, two white stained clay. The next row is five brown wool. And then the next two rows goes two cyan, two red, two cyan, two red, two cyan. And then we got the two red, which we already placed. So I'm going to quickly get rid of this balloon because it's kind of obstructing. Uh, but as you can see, again, that's a 6x6 six six square. And it looks like this. If you want to, pause. And uh, whilst you do that, I'm going to quickly do some uh, maintenance to this balloon I just destroyed. Okay, so moving around to the right side. It is the exact same. So the first layer is 6 white stained clay. And then going from right to left this time is 1 brown, 4 white stained clay. 3 brown, 2 white stained clay, 5 brown, and then of course we got the 2 red, 2 cyan, 2 red, 2 cyan, 2 red. Or from left to right it goes cyan red, cyan red, cyan red. Alrighty, so again, 6 by 6 square, if you want to, feel free to pause, if not, let's move on. So, coming round to the back side of the head, what we're going to do, the first row is slightly different to what we've done. We just got to punch out two blocks and replace it. So we come to the third and fourth row, or third and fourth on the first row, should I say, and we replace it with brown wool. Second row is four brown. Third row, four brown. Fifth row, uh, four brown. And then, of course, you guessed it, we go cyan, red, cyan, red. Okay, so that is what the back looks like. Again, if you haven't already uh, got it, it's a six by six square. And uh, this is your opportunity to pause. Okay, so moving on, we come to the final side of the statue, which is the head. And this is by no means any easier. So what we're going to do is generally just do a uh, cross checkered pattern, I guess you could say, like what you see on a chessboard. So you get something like this. So basically, you just don't want any block of the same color to touch each other. So you don't want a cyan being next to a cyan like that. It goes cyan red cyan red and it will look like this now what you want to do is you want to get your gray wool and come to the two center blocks or a two by two center block like so so you just count in two from the side two from the front two from the back and two from the other side and make a two by two out of the gray wool on top of that you place a two by two of black wool and this is where things get slightly more complicated so we need our carpets now. So what you do is if there's a red wall here, you place one red carpet and same with cyan. So on a cyan, you place one cyan carpet and you just alternate it like that. Now, the reason why you're doing this is because the propellers are actually made out of carpets. And if you don't put carpets everywhere, it looks really out of place. Um, and you'll see why in a second. If you look at it from the side, you can see the hitbox of the carpet. Um, and if you don't place the carpets everywhere, it, it doesn't look as nice, to say the least. It doesn't look flat, it looks different layers, and it, you can tell you've used carpets, and that's not what we want to do. We want to make it look nice and professional. Okay, so as you can see, on top of every cyan and on top of every red, I have placed a carpet. Now what you do is, coming from this black wall here, what you do is you place a 2x2 two two on top of the carpets coming out of each side of this middle pillar. So on the left, the front, the right and the back you place a 2x2 two two of orange carpets and it gives you a really really nice effect now originally I was going to use the orange wall but I thought I'd experiment with carpets and that was definitely something that worked out well 
because you can see the propellers are nice and thin and they actually look like propellers which is really really awesome um, but yeah anyways I'm not going to get too excited about that that is the statue complete if you did build this and you did enjoy definitely consider smacking the like button again and I really do appreciate the uh, support you guys have been showing recently it really has been awesome and I have been noticing, uh, noticing it if I can get my words out properly um, and trust me I really do appreciate it but anyways that is it you have got your balloon boy statue whether you wanted him or not I know a lot of you don't like balloon boy um, but I thought I'd get it out there anyways so if you did enjoy very very good again consider smacking the like button but until next time I've been Tom thank you for watching and goodbye Pull my heart out of my chest Train my mind so I forget Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out then fill the hole Tear me apart